Hello everybody. So we're here for another devotion and this one is based off of Colossians chapter 2 verses 2 and 3. It says, my purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So this is called, Be Glad You Are Needy. Hmm, sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Your needs and God's riches, they're a perfect fit. You know, like the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, when you just get that last piece in, they all fit and they make a beautiful picture. Well, God never meant for you to go it alone, to be a piece by yourself. God designed you to need him to need other people, not, not just need God so he can give you stuff, your daily bread and what you need every day, but also to fill that deep emptiness inside you. You know, that emptiness is actually designed so you look for God. It's so you aren't alone. It's part of God's plan. Don't try to pretend that the emptiness, that, that void isn't there. It is, it can be. Don't try and fill it with stuff or with people who give you that energy or just with possessions or power or screen time or drugs or alcohol or more stuff. Fill it with God. How, how can he be in your life? You know, if you go to Jesus with all of your needs, let your defenses down, seek his blessings, that emptiness will fill back up. Spend time with him. It, God will fill you with love and joy and peace. Be glad you're needy. That helps you get filled up with God. So here's a couple questions to talk about. What ways do you need Jesus every day? Can you name five ways that Jesus has been for you, been there for you in the past? Try and name five ways that you need him now or in the future.